Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing some sunny conditions continue out there this morning with temperatures climbing into the 40s and seeing a light wind out of the northeast. If we look at the current surface analysis, we have this area of low pressure over the southeast part of the country. That's going to continue tracking eastward and off the coast, not really impacting the local area with the exception of tightening the uh, pressure gradient between that area of low pressure and this high pressure that will be building into our region in the coming days. So with that tighter pressure gradient, we'll see some uh, slightly breezy conditions over the next couple days before they start to subside as that area of high pressure builds in. Looking at the upper level winds from this morning sounding, not very strong winds uh, through the columns this morning, seeing those winds out of the north-northwest to northerly in the uh, low to middle part of the atmosphere. And as we get in the upper layers, we'll see our peak winds at 35 knots at 25,000 feet. Freezing level today is at 3,200 feet. And if we look at the current visible satellite, we can see those clear skies across the region. Winds light out the northeast. And again, expecting a pretty nice day ahead today with uh, mostly sunny skies and seasonal temperatures. If we look at the short-term high-resolution model, see how things play out. Again, expecting dry conditions as we move through the day today with sunny conditions as well. Uh, as we go into the evening time frame, we'll see mainly clear conditions, and then we'll start to see uh, some uh, lower clouds swinging into the area as the northeast breeze picks up a bit going into the day on Tuesday, seeing some slightly breezy conditions through the day. We'll see uh, most likely mostly cloudy conditions here at Wilds. Further inland, we'll see less cloud coverage. It'll mainly just be that uh, moisture coming off the water to keep some clouds in the local area. So partly to mostly cloudy for Tuesday, but expecting dry conditions, very slight chance you might see a light sprinkle out there, but that's not very likely. And if it does happen, it won't be very impactful. As we go overnight into Wednesday morning, we'll continue to see some slightly breezy conditions and cloudy conditions as well. That continues as we go into the start of the day on Wednesday, but overall remaining dry. And then as we go through the day on Wednesday, we'll see those clouds uh, starting to reduce as well as those winds reducing uh, as that pressure gradient uh, weakens a bit, uh, leading to some partly cloudy conditions as we go into Wednesday night. We look at the GFS here for the longer term forecast as we go through the day on Thursday. That high pressure is built in. We see another quiet. Uh, and nice day with slightly above average temperatures for this time of year. And then going into the day on Friday, starting to see this area of low pressure tracking across the northern part of the country. That's going to bring a boundary uh, approach in the region as we get into the day on Friday. Right now, pretty good agreement with the modeling that we'll see this boundary kind of weaken and dry out as it pushes through on Friday. So just a very low chance of seeing maybe a light shower uh, around the area late Friday into Saturday morning. Uh, as we get into the rest of the weekend, still some uncertainty here with some uh, spread in the models and what exactly uh, occurs. Uh, European model has a, another piece of energy moving through, bringing uh, some rain showers during the day on Saturday. As you can see, the GFS keeping a drier solution um, for our Saturday. But as we go into the day on Sunday, uh, European a little drier on Sunday, but the uh, GFS keeping a wetter solution. Um, solution as we go through today on Sunday. I think the better chance, better agreement, uh, we'll be seeing some rain, uh, better chance of rain on Sunday, but still some uncertainty here. We'll be keeping an eye on that as we go through the week. So if we look at the 24-hour weather chart for today, we'll see green conditions over the next 24 hours, expecting sunny conditions as we move through today. Today, keeping those winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 knots. Could see some peak gusts up around 15 knots. Otherwise, seeing our high Temperature around 48 degrees this afternoon. We'll continue with clear conditions going through the overnight time frame. And as we get into the start of the day on Tuesday, we'll start to see those low clouds swinging into the area uh, with some scattered clouds around 2,000 feet. But uh, seeing that low temperature around 31 degrees, and we'll start to see that breeze pick up out of the north northeast at 7 to 12 knots, gusting up to 17 knots. Right now, our tides are running about foot and a half to two feet above normal and we'll likely see that continue over the next couple days and looking at the next couple days weather wise we'll see partly the most cloudy conditions on tuesday and those slightly breezy onshore winds uh, through today on tuesday do have a yellow risk for those winds that are above 25 knots that looks to be about 15 20 percent chance of seeing that 
should stay below that, but uh, there is a chance you could see those winds over uh, overshoot what the modeling is showing. So uh, do have that chance for those winds up around that level. Uh, but otherwise, seeing a high around 44 degrees and that very slight chance of an isolated sprinkle through the area. Tuesday night, continue mostly cloudy conditions. Could see some partly cloudy conditions at times, but slightly breezy conditions continue as well with a low around 32 degrees, but not expecting as breezy as we as we will see on the day on Tuesday. And as we go into Wednesday, we'll see mostly cloudy and slightly breezy conditions early on. And again, those clouds decreasing and the winds weakening as we go through the day and just a degree warmer with a high around 45 degrees. Looking at the extended forecast here, we'll see a nice day on Thursday with partly cloudy conditions, starting off with a cold low around 29 degrees and then slightly above average with a high around 50 degrees. As we go into the uh, end of the week and into the weekend, we'll see continued mild and above average temperatures with a high around 54 for Friday. We'll see mostly cloudy conditions and slightly breezy once again, but uh, just a low chance of maybe seeing a rain shower late on Friday. And then going into the weekend, our lows will be in the mid-40s and our highs, upper 50s to around 60s, uh, mainly on Saturday. It will be the warmest day of the week, looks like, at this time. Keeping mostly cloudy conditions, about a 20% chance of uh, rain shower in the area. And then as we go into the day on Sunday, we bump up to a 30% chance with continued cloudy conditions and slightly cooler with a high around 56 degrees. But again, some uncertainty with this. A weekend forecast and we'll keep eye on that as we move through the week that's going to wrap up the 10 a.m daily weather briefing we'll be back again tomorrow at 8 15 and 10 a.m otherwise enjoy the rest of your day